We are working here at the Memory Center in, in Nice uh, for the diagnosis, for the prevention of... We, we, we usually, usually see Alzheimer's disease, but this is all the related disorder of Alzheimer's disease. This is also all the people who have cognitive problems. And so, uh, to have a better assessment, it's really important for us. I think that really, uh, I remember ye yesterday I have a patient and uh, I discuss with uh, this lady and there is a, a, a hearing problem and so when uh, I have uh, some uh, guidelines or information to provide for the test, it's really uh, difficult. So, uh, this is for the hearing, this is also for the view and really what I want at the end of this project is to uh, have better tool of assessment taking into account of these two deficiencies. Because I, I, I don't know, but I, I think it's, we are close to 50% of the people who are consulting here who uh, have this type of deficiency. For the patient, if uh, I have a better diagnosis, I, I hope to be better treated. And also, uh, because I think this is one of the, the important uh, aspects of SenseCog, is also to try to use new technology for improve the assessment. And I think that <clears throat> the new technology are not only uh, tools for the assessment, but they are also possibly tools for the training and for the stimulation. And so, in this way, uh, this is uh, also uh, an uh, important uh, aspect that uh, within the assessment we also prepare the patient in order to offer some non-pharmacological solution after the, the diagnosis. For the carers, uh, yes, uh, because there is a, a, a probably a, a teaching benefit. Uh, the carers come with the, the patient and uh, to look how it's work. And uh, I think it, uh, it's positive. It is also positive if the, uh, uh, the, there is some solution coming from SenseCog that at the end of the day can be used by the carer himself or herself and not only by the profession. I hope that all the interview you are uh, <laughs> doing will help. Uh, we are at the time of the social internet, uh, networking and so on. But I, I think it's also important for us as a clinician to try to involve other uh, uh, professionals and explain to them directly what we want to do and uh, to uh, give them uh, uh, this type of solution. So this is for the professional, for the, for the patient and the, for, the, for the family. There is several occasions which are not uh, SenseCog specific but uh, where the result and the advance in the project project must be uh, advertised. For instance, in September uh, 21, we have the Alzheimer's uh, World Day and there's a lot of events here. There is more than 75 people who are coming. And so, I hope that at that time we will have some new results and continue and continue to inform the people. <laughs>